Hello, everyone. This is Sheila Galant Halloran with Lush Life, an affiliate of Vision Direct Travel. I'm here in Ottawa and joined by my partner, Lori Patterson with Seaborn. Uh, we are going to talk all about Seaborn Cruises today. This is a continuation of my Travel Tuesday. I think this is the 71st Travel Tuesday I've started since uh, COVID uh, uh, came about. And uh, we do everything from travel trivia that I run once a month to um, how to travel alone together if you're a solo traveler to beginner's guide to river cruising to something like we're doing today with uh, with Lori Patterson joining us from Seaborn. <clears throat> Pardon me. Lori's going to share with us all the wonderful things about Seaborn uh, Cruises, which is a fantastic partner of mine. It is a member of the Virtuoso Consortium, and it is a great line that I've had the pleasure of sailing on previously. Lori's going to give a general overview of the brand who Seaborn is, where they go, and just give us a, a, a sample of the fantastic cruises that uh, Seaborn does offer and the destinations it covers. And then at the end, we'll talk about a group cruise that I have set up and something special in that it is mostly Canadian ports. So it is a cruise that starts in Montreal, round trip Montreal. So for my Canadian clients, you don't have to fly. You can drive if you're in Ottawa, Toronto, Montreal. Goes to uh, Quebec City, goes to uh, Newfoundland and does the circumnavigation of Newfoundland. Um, also visits St. Pierre and Miquelon. So it is a great, cruise if you're looking for a more Canadian option of cruising, but we'll touch base on that later. Right now, I'm going to invite Lori to uh, give us this wonderful overview of Seaborn. As I mentioned, it's a fantastic cruise partner of mine. And Lori Patterson is my business development manager with Seaborn. Lori, thank you for joining us. And with that, I'll turn it over to you. Oh, I appreciate that. And Sheila, thank you for having me this evening. And most importantly, thank you everybody for tuning in tonight from your living rooms and uh, hope you're relaxing, staying out of the rain we're having. How ridiculous is this? Um, but I'm, I'm thrilled to be here, Sheila, on our 71st Travel Talk Tuesday. This is a, a wonderful event tonight. And as Sheila mentions, we have worked together for many, many years. I've actually uh, been with Carnival Corporation now. This is my 21st year. And I've been the business development manager for Holland America Line uh, for Eastern Canada. And about seven years ago, we um, took the Seaborn brand under our umbrella. So I've had the amazing privilege of selling both of these brands and representing them. And I have also had a great privilege to sail Seaborn um, three or actually four times now. So uh, I can share some of my experiences and Sheila, I know, can speak to the brand as well. It's just really and truly the world's finest ultra luxury resort at sea. So um, as Sheila mentioned at the end of the presentation, you can ask me any questions about what's going on in the cruise world because we've certainly had a very, very interesting time this last two years and a bit. So um, we've had a lot of experiences that we can speak to. And as you know, people are getting ready to travel again, we have had a tremendous demand for luxury product. So this is what is um, really selling the best right now is the Seaborn brand. And the Seaborn, really the brand sets itself up beautifully for social distancing. Um, there's a ton of space on board these ships. So what I want to do today is to talk about the ships and, and what you will experience when you sail with us and what we have to offer what separates us from the other luxury brands. And as Sheila said, some of the destinations that we sail to, we have some very exotic itineraries. And we're gonna talk about Sheila's group and uh, all the things that she can do with you and you, when you sail with Sheila. So um, Sheila, are you actually going on this one? I can't remember if you said you were escorting. I think you are. If, if it works out, yes, indeed. Yeah, wonderful. Well, maybe I'll go and pack your bags or at least carry your bags. <laughs> Well, you know what I'm going to do? Um, can we hide our faces so we're not distracted by a little bit? Is that fine? No, I've that... minimized it. Lori, are you uh, okay. still seeing yes. the group? No, I just minimized it so I don't distract myself by, by looking at all your beautiful faces. Perfect. Thank you. 
All right. Thanks, Sheila. So today, as I said, I want to talk about this wonderful brand and uh, where we are today in the travel business. But mostly uh, the, the difference between this brand and the other luxury brands. So the all-inclusive difference that Seaborn brings to the table, this truly is a fine resort that just happens to be at sea. Um, it is a, just a masterfully designed ship space that we have um, by a wonderful designer called Adam Tahani. He's actually a hotel designer, so he has just really designed our ships with comfort and space for our guests. So it is really a yacht-like inspired interior and all of the public spaces, you can really feel that throughout the ship. So it's a great attention to detail and the design is truly what makes these ships very, very different from ultra luxury lines. So you can see this, I love this photo. This is a, a picture of our pool area, our main pool area just at sunset just getting ready for the cocktail hour and you can see how beautifully spacious this is and very welcoming and inviting and I hope you can envision yourself having a cocktail here and watching the sunset as I do almost every day wish I were there um, and I'm going to show you some photos from the interior so you can kind of get a feel of what the inside of these ships look like because with any one of our ships you're going to enjoy that real sophisticated and luxurious small ship cruise like no other brand and it, it does feel like you're sailing on your own private yacht and it's got a wonderful sense of style and elegance um, and and we really have such a difference with our brand and and what i've done here is just list some of the differences and i've highlighted in red my favorite things about this brand and, and some of the things that do make us unique it is about the size of the ships, and I'll talk a little bit about that with that real yacht-like atmosphere. But my big takeaway every time that I sail on Seaborn is the personalized service from our staff. Um, our, our crew are literally, they're, they're so passionate about exceeding guest expectations. They're truly dedicated to making this the experience of a lifetime for you. And every time that I talk with guests, off of a seaborne sailing, that is exactly what they talk about as well, is the dedication of our staff. They are so engaged. Um, we have one serving staff for every guest that sails with us. So that level of service is just like no other. And on every one of our ships, every single suite is an oceanfront suite. So there are no inside staterooms and these are all suite accommodation. We have, of course, complimentary premium spirits, fine wines, all top shelf liquor, 24 hours a day. There is no charge for any of it. We have champagne and complimentary stocked in sweet bar with your own preferences. So say before you sail, you actually get sent a beautiful letter with a, a menu of choices for you. Say maybe you're a single malt scotch lover and red wine. That will be waiting for you in your suite when you arrive. And you can change it any day, but your room stewardess will, um, you know, ask you every day if you'd like it refreshed, what other, you know, alternatives you would like. But it's just that extra special touch and attention to detail. And all of this in an atmosphere where tipping is neither required nor expected. So all of the staff have a very genuine approach to our service. There is nobody waiting with their hand out. You don't get better service if you tip because you will have a hard time giving any of our staff any money, I guarantee you. Um, there's no tipping expectation, nothing added onto your drinks or for any service on board. So what I also love about Seaborn, not only is the food amazing, but all of our dining venues are completely complimentary. And also you can dine where, when, and with whomever you wish. Table for two, or if you want to sit with some friends you've met or traveling with, you can have a table for six or eight, whatever works for you. We also have amazing spa services, um, and that's hosted by Dr. Andrew Weil. If any of you are familiar with his services on uh, mindful living and wellness, um, you should give it a Google because he really offers some amazing programming. And that's one of our amazing partners that make this brand very, very special. And of course, we have our evening entertainment, our collaboration with Sir Tim Rice. So a lot of our fantastic evening entertainment programming 
in our beautiful show lounge is uh, with that background of Sir Tim Rice. And we also have a partnership with UNESCO. So um, this is actually going to be key to the group um, uh, cruise that Sheila is going to be taking to Newfoundland. So she'll uh, speak to that in a moment. But um, UNESCO is one of our um, highlighted partners. And we make a point of sailing to many, many UNESCO World Heritage Sites throughout the world. So I'm just going to introduce you quickly to our fleet. So these three beautiful ships across the top, the Odyssey, the Sojourn and the Quest, are all what we call sister ships. So these are exactly the same layout, deck plan, everything is, is completely identical. So this, all of our fleet actually is the youngest ultra luxury fleet at sea. So we have the newest ships at sea. Um, all of these ships are virtually identical, but these three up top are the smaller ships which host just over 400 guests. So they are tonnage wise um, about 43,000 gross tons. So if you have cruised before that may, that number may mean something to you. But what that means actually is the space ratio to our guests on board is very, very large. We have one of the largest space ratios, which means you have a lot of room all over the ship. So there's not lineups, there's never a crowd. It makes for a very, very comfortable sailing experience. When you check in on a seaborne ship, you check in once you board the ship. So there's none of this lining up in the hot sun with 3,000 of your closest friends. We actually bring you on board. You walk down a beautiful red carpet. You board the ship. You are given a beautiful glass of champagne, real champagne, not sparkling wine. And you sit down and you are greeted in the living room of the ship. So it makes for an incredibly welcoming, warm atmosphere. So in 2016, we introduced um, virtually the same style of ship with the Encore and the Ovation, but they are just a little bit larger. So they host just under 600 guests. So they have an extra floor of suites. The actual um, onboard venues are almost identical and the layout and the style is the same, but they just have room for a few more guests. And we have just introduced two brand new expedition ships, the Venture, and our newest ship, The Pursuit. So we just actually named her. Um, so we uh, had a lovely naming ceremony. It was very, very exciting. But those are um, two new ships that have been introduced to our fleet and they're very, very state-of-the-art expedition sailing ships. So that is um, a whole new ball game that we are entering into. And we have some ships that are going to be sailing um, specifically to do expedition in parts of the world, the Amazon into the Arctic, the Northwest Passage, Antarctica. These are custom built PC6 ice strength and hull ships, absolutely stunning. And there are only 132 suites on board. So just over 260 guests allowed. So again, the space on board is amazing. So um, this product, I'd love to have another Travel Talk Tuesday, uh, Sheila, with you about expedition sailing because there's a lot to talk about. And this particular um, product with expedition is really booming, booming, booming. So there's lots to talk about and share with you there. So I want to talk about, um, I said, some of the differences and expand a little bit with them. One of the things that is so welcoming is that private club atmosphere. So you can literally dine, as I said, wherever you wish. You can dine out on your beautiful balcony. Um, there's no charge for room service. We have so many beautifully luxurious spaces on board. Um, all of our suites, as I said, are oceanfront suites. And the minimum size suites start about 300 square feet. And it moves up to our premium suites, which are over 1,500 square feet. So some people, and I can tell you um, this happens quite often in our premium suites, some guests book into these suites and don't ever leave their suites. Some of them are looking for that anonymity. They want to absolutely get away from everybody. This has really worked at a time for us when social distancing has been really key for safety. Um, so it, it, it's really a good place to be and you can see how gorgeous these suites are 
if you are looking for total privacy. So these um, suites are quite spectacular. They've got a balcony that wraps around. You could actually host probably 100, pe 100 people on your balcony for a cocktail evening. So much space and uh, attention to detail in these rooms. They're just absolutely spectacular. As I said, uh, when you check into your suite, uh, your room stewardess will bring you some welcome champagne and our champagne is available 24 hours a day, along with our fantastically beautiful, sustainable caviar, which is complimentary as well, 24-7. Uh, and the room stewardess will spend quite a bit of time with you, just learning about your likes and preferences, how you like your room set up and uh, what works for you timing wise. It just gives us that real customized attention to detail service that we offer on board Seaborn. So I mentioned our staff because they really are engaged and they want to know our guests. Uh, they call you by name. They, they are challenged. They do this actually amongst themselves to, to deliver what they call Seaborn moments that are really designed to surprise and to delight our guests as you sail. So they'll do little personal things for you. They listen to your likes and dislikes and, and can really personalize your whole experience. And as I mentioned, no tipping is required nor expected. You literally can walk on the ship and off of it without paying a bill. So it is really quite uh, a unique experience in the industry. And one of the things, um, you know, that um, I think is quite lovely after sailing many, many times on other brands, as well as Holland America Line, the wonderful, wonderful feeling when you go to the dinner table, when all of the wines are paired with every course, there's none of that uh, tension or, um, you know, people wondering, oh gosh, do I have to buy a bottle of wine for the table? Do I have to share it? What do I do? You don't even have to think about that. You sit down and all of the wine and or, or if you wanted a cocktail, all of that is arranged for you. You don't even have to think about it. So it, it's just such a more relaxing um, experience and, and atmosphere. It makes the dining so much nicer. And speaking of dining, um, Seaborn has very, very unique dining venues. And one of my favorites is an area called the Colonnade. And this is our outside dining area here where you can dine literally al fresco. You can sit under the stars, just have a beautiful romantic dinner with your wine and, and your friends and uh, just relax. This is our casual dining. So um, it's if you wanted to, you know, you had a very busy day on a shore excursion and you wanted to relax a little bit, just have a nice outdoor meal. This is the ideal venue for that. We Lori, all... may, may I interrupt just quickly, please? That, yes, of course. That was a beautiful picture showing everybody in their tuxes and gowns. <laughs> yes, thank you. For um, that is not required on board, correct? That is absolutely correct. Okay. I did just because that kind of startles people who don't want that level of formality when they travel. So I just wanted to True. kind of touch that. And, and you know what? I, I appreciate you bringing that up because that is one of the features about the brand that I love the most is the casual yacht club like atmosphere. That is a very old marketing picture, I have to tell you. Um, there really are, there would be what we call a formal night or a gala night on board in our main dining room. And that, if you wish to dine there, gentlemen would be required to wear a jacket. Um, ladies, you can wear a sundress and a different scarf every night. And really that's all that you need to take with you. On board during the day is extremely casual. Your shorts and your t-shirt will take you anywhere you want to go on board. And I mean that sincerely, you will not be, you know, uh, allowed to, you know, not enter any room that colonnade casual dining area is just that. So you can go and have dining and lunch, breakfast, and in your shorts and t-shirt. At night, they just require long slacks for the gentleman. So it's really it's so much more casual than it ever has been. One of the reasons actually they changed that was because a lot of the airlines were charging for additional luggage. So we wanted to make it easier for our guests to travel and a lot of people just, as you say, Sheila, just don't want to have that, that level of expectation where you have to bring such fancy clothes. You don't have to do that. So here is a picture of our wonderful partnership and our grill. Thomas Keller is one of our partnerships with our celebrity chef. 
If you're foodies, uh, you may have heard of this gentleman, Thomas Keller. He has amazing Northwest um, American style food, absolutely brilliant presentation. And we have partnered with him for this dining venue. So this is the only venue you actually have to reserve, but there is no fee. If you're familiar with Thomas Keller, he actually has a fabulous um, restaurant called the French Laundry. Um, and it's a Michelin three-star restaurant. And if you could even get in here, it would be a five, $600 evening. And you can have Thomas Keller experience right on board Seaborn and at no charge. So it really is a unique feature of our brand. I absolutely love this food and the style that he um, brings to, to Seaborn to the culinary side. Just the presentation alone is really quite spectacular. It is it's really, really worth it. And it's just a very stunning setting for a very elegant dinner. Again, in a casual, casual style restaurant. We also have our poolside uh, earth and ocean at the patio. So this is oh, spectacular seafood, if you wish. Oh my gosh, but this is eating again under the stars, very eclectic um, and as well as traditional flavors from around the world. Different menu every single night, depending on where we've been in port and what the chef can get at the local market. This is where you want to go for some really local experiences in the culinary side. So I mentioned the colonnade. This is actually a photo of the interior of our, for lack of a better term, our buffet casual dining. So this is the colonnade um, and those windows along the back are where you eat outside. It's just spectacular. I, I just adore it. I think this is a fun place to dine um, and the food is absolutely amazing. You can see the beautiful presentation there. It's a, it's a casual style, but the food is it's quite extraordinary. And the patio here, um, this again is by the poolside during the day. So they do, um, you know, fresh fish, they do burgers, they do, you know, pizza, salad, whatever you want to have as you're soaking up the sun. We also have a fabulous gelato bar. Um, and I'm a huge gelato fan, unfortunately. <laughs> I go to visit the gelato bar pretty much every day. Um, but this is all freshly made, some beautiful, beautifully, artfully displayed gelato. It's, it's really lovely. We also have an amazing sushi bar. So if you um, want to have some uh, culinary expertise in our sushi bar and experience this, oh my gosh, it's, it's quite spectacular. Uh, sushi, sushi as well as sashimi. So this is our area called the retreat area. And this is found on the upper deck. Um, and this is a, a nice private area where you can actually um, rent a cabana. So if you wanted the expense of having a private retreat area, this is available to you. Um, this has, you know, all the extra services. Again, there's bar service here. There's everything just stepped up a notch in the retreat area. It's just like a personal um, area right outside of our beautiful spa. So a lot of people, if you are going on board for say a week, one of our sailings, you can have a whole program designed in our spa with Dr. Andrew Weil and then enjoy your space out on the retreat after your amazing massage or acupuncture treatment. So it really is designed for wellness. One of my favorite things about Seaborn and something also unique about our brand is our fantastic sports platforms that are off of the back of every one of our ships. So you can see here, um, you know, if we are in a destination that allows for this and, you know, a, a protected area, we lower this platform and there are a multitude of sports water toys for you to play with, paddle boats, water skis, um, just right off of the back deck. So it is absolutely so fun and everybody loves it. You can swim here. You can uh, take a banana boat. It's just really a, a fun thing to do and a great way to spend the day uh, in the ocean. And of course, we have one of our signature events called Caviar in the Surf. So I'm not sure if you've seen that magazine ad where you see the gentleman in the water with a tuxedo and a tray full of champagne. That's us at Seaborn. So we now have actually uh, removed the tuxedos. So our crew, um, we load off all of our guests and everybody on board is invited to our private beach area. In the Caribbean, we have this in Thailand, we have it down in Australia. Um, as well as in the Mediterranean. So we have private islands where we take our guests and they have the whole island or a whole sectioned off island where we bring fresh caviar on surf 
boards, unlimited champagne, music. Oh my gosh, this is like everybody's best beach day. And it's a day like no other. And I guarantee you, this will be the highlight of your cruise. It is really, really fun. So um, it, it, this is literally how the, the presentation is done. Um, they come in and they have this beautiful caviar served to you on a surfboard. It is just so unique. It's, um, it's so amazing. Just interject and say that I have to agree. It is it was my favorite day on my seaborn cruise. And you have to go in the water and yes. go to the surfboard to get the caviar <laughs> and the creme fraiche and the crackers yes. and the sea and uh, champagne. It's just magnificent. So much fun. Isn't it? Yeah, it is so fun. And everybody remembers this day. You know, it's not just another day at the beach on an island where you can't really remember. Everybody talks about this and, and it's just uh, the staff absolutely adore this day because it's casual it's fun and it's just uh, you know a, a unique adventure so uh, the onboard enhancements and i know right now if you have not cruised since the world uh, shut down or paused cruising i know a lot of people have been asking about enhancements or protocols what we are doing on board we have made a lot of changes but as i mentioned this product is really set up uniquely for sale with distancing and space in mind. But we have also elevated our health and safety protocols. So um, to, you know, deal and work with the CDC as well as science all over the world. Um, we have also got a new travel insurance that will cover you for traveling with, um, you know, guarding against COVID. We have introduced brand new ventilation systems on every one of our ship. We have mask wearing all of our staff as of March 1st. For our guests, masks will be optional. Our staff will still be wearing them. All of our staff, all of the guests are 100% vaccinated. So people ask me, you know, can I bring my young children? If they're under five, they cannot be vaccinated. They cannot join us. So this is something we've really held hard and fast to, and it's really kept us safe. And we've had so few counts of COVID outbreak on board the ship. Um, we've had a few cases, but it's, it's you know, been so well managed and we've been able to really control all of our emergency um, uh, facilities on board. We've increased our medical staff as well as our emergency responses. So there is a lot that we are doing behind the scenes that you are not even aware of. But the cleaning, all everything is completely enhanced. We are also uh, creating a more touchless society by um, introducing what's called a Seaborne Source, which is our app, which you can download before you go. Um, you can manage your account. You can look at your future cruise credits if you have any. You can book shore excursions, uh, get your boarding pass, sign in here. You can see what's happening on board the ship all day. Um, you know, all the activities are all loaded here on this app. It works like a charm. Um, I've experienced it. I've used it. Loved it. Um, you can pre-order. You know, you can say, I'm going up to the pool bar. Have my pizza ready for me. So by the time you get there, it's sitting there waiting for you. So it's just, <laughs> it's magical. So I, I just think this is a great, great tool. If you do not have a handheld device, you can still print out your boarding pass before you go. So that's still available to you but it really will help you to have this touchless um, programming. It just makes it a lot easier for you. So all of our embarkation and safety drills are also done with the app. So you will be signed and uh, pardon me, assigned an embarkation time with your documentation. So say we say, uh, you know, we would advise you, please go down to the pier at 2 a or 2 p.m. where you'll be checked in on board. So that time is assigned to you. You just go down and check in and you are right into your suite. So it is so, so easy. It has actually been a really uh, great enhancement. So um, also for our safety drills, you can watch them from the comfort of your suite. You don't have to go stand in the hot sun. It's just so easy and uh, our guests are absolutely loving all of these new protocols. So it has really made things a lot simpler. You also have to sign what's called a risk acceptance policy now. So when you sail with us, it's a questionnaire about your health. Um, just, you know, complying with all of the questions and, you know, saying you are COVID free. That is something also on your app, which we ask people to fill out and also to um, 
have a, an attestation saying that you are fully vaccinated. So all of this is available to you on our website, but on the source app. So it is just so much easier. And when you do arrive on board, um, as of April 1st of last year, actually, we introduced a staying connected feature. So all of our guests will receive a complimentary Wi-Fi. So depending on the length of your sailing will determine the amount of minutes that you get that are free of charge. And of course, every time we dock in port, there is free Wi-Fi so you can walk off the ship and, and get Wi-Fi there too. So there's lots of options for any of you that are working on board or need to stay connected. Um, we all seem to have to do that uh, these days. So this is really uh, a great feature. If you are in our penthouse or premium suite categories, it is unlimited internet connection. So it's really uh, a great enhancement feature with no charge. Um, I want to talk a little bit about some destinations because maybe some of you are really ready to book and you want to know where we sail. Uh, we have literally an amazing selection of hand-picked must-see ports and hidden gems you know, ranging from length of uh, seven days is the shortest sailing up to our grand world voyage of 145 spectacular days. Anywhere from the Arctic to the Antarctic, uh, Southeast Asia to Europe and the Greek Isles, we sail all over the world. We are an international cruise line. Um, we have been in business now 30 years. So we have really refined and defined our destinations to make them work for our guests. So we want to take you to those iconic ports uh, that are uncrowded and people are looking for destinations that are unique and tied to UNESCO so we can really enhance your experience on land with some fantastic excursions. People do ask me the difference between our brand Seaborn and other luxury brands that do include the excursions we do not include shore excursions in the cost of the cruise fare. We used to, but our guests actually advised us to take that out of the cruise fare because a lot of people want to do their own thing. They don't want to be in groups with other people. So we have just now given you a selection of options for you. Or, as I mentioned, one of the funnest things to do is to go shopping with the chef. So when you're in some exotic ports, um, maybe you're in Denpasar and you can walk off the, the ship with the chef. He wants to go to the local market. He will buy fish. They'll buy spices from the local area. That is just the funnest thing to do. And a lot of our guests love doing just that. They want to explore on their own. You can do private car and drivers. So you can really customize your own on land experience. So this is actually that amazing itinerary. And I'm sorry, this is the best map that I could pull. But this is the itinerary that Sheila has blocked group space on. And as Sheila said, the uniqueness of this itinerary is the fact that it is a round trip Montreal. So there are no US ports to work through. Um, this is such a unique itinerary with that circumnavigation of Newfoundland. We've never done this itinerary before. Um, I don't know if we'll be doing it again. It's hard to say, but um, Sheila, did you want to add anything? I know this is your, your hometown island, girl. So uh, maybe you want to shed a little light on some of these ports? Sure thing. Um, as uh, most of the folks on, on the call know, I'm from Newfoundland. I live in Ottawa. I still identify myself as a Newfoundlander. I just sleep and pay taxes in Ottawa. Um, <laughs> Uh, but of course, love my adopted hometown, especially after everything we've been through the past three weeks. Um, what I love about this itinerary, besides the fact that you don't have to purchase air because it's round trip Montreal, is that it does give that circumnavigation of Newfoundland, which is just exquisite. I've done it with a, another brand similar to this itinerary previously. I can tell you that a circumnavigation of Newfoundland is, is a fantastic trip. It will allow you to see places that you can't um, on, on most other cruise lines. What, what is really neat about the Seaborn brand, and Lori has touched on a, a lot of the great stuff about everything included, uh, except the shore excursions, is that 
Um, well, I should point out, we will not do caviar in the surf in the North Atlantic in September. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a great we option. A, we have a workaround. <laughs> we have a workaround. That is a great option for some other itineraries. So North Atlantic in September will not be one. But you know, it's it's a I recently have been um asked by Virtuoso to promote wellness travel, and I'll be doing a mentoring series for my my virtuoso advisor colleagues. And that first one is tomorrow. So when I started looking at this itinerary, besides the fact of it being Andrew Wheel and the wellness um, and, and UNESCO, I love UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And those of you who don't know, Newfoundland actually has four. Um, we're going to be going to visit Lansom Meadows, which is fantastic. If you don't know the Viking settlement, um, you know, as much as we like to think that uh, 1492, uh, Columbus sailed the ocean blue and discovered North America. No, it was the Vikings uh, a thousand years ago and they they came to Lansom Meadows. Um, it's magnificent to see that and see the structures that have been unearthed and learn about Newfoundland and the Vikings and see the tools and, and learn all about that uh, uh, time and, and how they came to be there circumnavigating going to St. John's, uh, the oldest city in North America. Uh, if you love pubs, it has 200 pubs on uh, George Street and Watertown, Water Street, uh, the most pubs per, per uh, capita in all of North America as well. And we kind of get around the uh, Jones Act. For those of you who know cruising, you have to visit another country on a cruise. So you don't tend to see all of Canada, all of the states, um, there are very few exceptions, but this one, we're actually going to visit St. Pierre Miquelon, so we're going over to France for a day, and uh, Ile de Madeleine as well. So it's just an exquisite cruise. The reason I say I my plan is to uh, go on this is that I'm hosting a Globus land tour of Newfoundland just a week prior. So. That is September 7th to 18th. I'm going to be doing a motor coach tour of Newfoundland. Um, Newfoundland has certainly got a lot of attention with the come from away just being broadcast on, on Apple TV. If you haven't seen that, please do. It's absolutely fantastic and uplifting to see how when we're uh, at our lowest, we can still help and support each other and the benefit of community. So I've been promoting Newfoundland a lot this year, especially as Canadians are starting to travel again. I'm doing this land tour of Newfoundland with Globus, but now want to do the sea. And if any of you have uh, seen any Newfoundland programming, you'll know there's a, a very famous show called Land and Sea, uh, which has been on Newfoundland TV for decades. So this is a chance to do a land and sea opportunity. The cruise itself is going to be exquisite. I do have 10 cabins I'm holding. We have some great onboard credits. If this interests you, please let me know. I already have a few people booked. That is fantastic, Sheila. And I truly wish I were going on this itinerary. Um, I actually have my name on a waiting list because I want to go. I think this is a magnificent way to see this part of the world. And I've actually done um, the Saguenay River, you know, several times with Holland, but I've never done that circumnav of, of Newfoundland. And I agree with you, those UNESCO World Heritage Sites and all that Newfoundland has to offer, there's no place like it in the world. And, and um, I, I think it is a very unique, unique place. So um, we should be proud of it. And I really hope I can join you. I really that hope would be will. awesome. Yeah. Yes, it would be. And, and if any of you that are on the call today, I, I urge you to take a look at that because it's just not an itinerary that is offered. So take advantage of it while it's there. So our other worldwide destinations, as I mentioned, we are a very international line. So there really is not an ocean that you cannot sail into on a seaborne ship. You, I mean, we are literally covering everywhere. So, um, you know, we have the most desirable destinations, um, the most coveted regions all over the world. So my favorite uh, really is in the Antarctic. Um, we've been sailing down here for many years, uh, about six years now. We are, we are doing wet landings in Antarctica with the top expedition leaders in the world off of our ships. So this is not only 
a magnificent opportunity to see this, this part of the planet, but um, to have a fantastic education as you sail there. So um, if this checks your bucket list box, I, I urge you to um, book this now or, or look into it because I don't think this is an area where we will have access forever. So again, if it's on your bucket list, don't wait. Um, also, I want to give a quick nod to our Grand World Voyages. So with Seaborn, um, we have a very unique experience, which this particular Grand Voyage, and it has been cancelled the last three years, um, 2021, and we just cancelled our 2022 Grand World Voyage. So sadly, uh, we are now on to 2023, but the good news is um, the itinerary is never the same twice. So um, we've done this Grand World Voyage cruising for many, many years, and we have not only the uniqueness of the itineraries, but it's an open jaw. In other words, you're leaving from Miami and disembarking in Barcelona. So uh, you can see here how spectacular this does. It incorporates, um, you know, South America. You are going over to Australia and doing the South Pacific. Uh, and then over to Africa. So this, um, I think this is probably the most unique itinerary I have ever seen. You have six continents, 10 overnights, which give you the opportunity to go inland and really do an in-depth exploration. So if 140 days is too big of a bite for you, you can actually do a world voyage in segments. So this allows for those shorter duration sailings, very exotic, unique itineraries, but maybe, you know, you can only be gone for three weeks. Um, there's a 21 day is our shortest segment. Uh, so you can break this down into bite-sized pieces. So it makes it a little more tolerable if you cannot be away for that long. Now our world cruise guests always get extra special amenities. So they get um, shipboard credits, they get discounts paying in full. Um, it, you know, you get a discount if you are a repeat world voyage guest. You also get your round trip air included, private car transfers door to door. So there's just all sorts of, of amenities that we are able to you know, give you extra value when you are doing a full grand world voyage. We've also introduced something called Grand Voyages, which really are some unique itineraries. Again, uh, quite long in duration, but very exotic, unique itineraries. And this specifically, circumnavigation of Grand South America, including the Amazon, as well as Antarctica. It just doesn't get more exotic than this. Um, and I just can't imagine all the clothing you'd have to, to bring with you to accommodate the Amazon as well as the Antarctic, but um, that's a problem I would like to have. But again, we can break down these grand voyages for shorter itineraries, so you can kind of do them in bits and bites. So we are also doing full programming down to Asia, Arabia, India, Australia, and New Zealand. So we're starting this fall. We have very comprehensive programming uh, down in Australia and New Zealand, and we are thrilled because as of everything else, we've had to pause these itineraries the last couple of years. So we have not only a very high demand for these specific itineraries, but they're spectacular if you want to go and experience this part of the world. So um, again, a lot of these are open jaw itineraries, allowing you to, you know, for flexibility for some land itineraries, if you want to do that. They're just really, um, I think, stunningly amazing, exotic itineraries. So it really um, will take you to an, a full in-depth experience of all of these areas. Thailand, Vietnam, um, really up and coming destinations for many, many years. But now I would say that the demand for these specific exotic itineraries has just gone through the roof. So I think these are amazing. The China Sea, uh, Gems of Japan, um, all of these itineraries, again, quite, quite exotic. And if you do have future cruise credits sitting out there, please take a look at them with Seaborn. And maybe this is a time to do a specific very exotic itinerary. Maybe this is the year for you. So I just love showing some of these exotic itineraries. And if you're interested in Arabia, India, this is really the way to do it. And we can actually 
um, complement an on-land experience. Uh, we have partnered with um, Abercrombie and Kent to do our land programming so you can do a pre or post um, in many, many of these destinations so you can really extend the land experience with your crews. So the, our newer ship, the Encore and the Ovation are actually going to be doing these more exotic itineraries. So you will have two brand new ships in these parts of the world to, to explore. And if you're planning for the winter, we are actually just starting to uh, wind down our Caribbean season for this year. But what we have actually chosen to do was start our return to cruising in the Caribbean. And we started this last summer. So what I have absolutely loved hearing are people's experiences and also selling of these seven day itineraries out of Barbados. So we have chosen Barbados as our embarkation port. Um, we wanted to get back in the water and Florida was giving us just too many uh, hurdles to jump over. So Barbados had uh, welcoming arms. So we moved our ship down there. We have had the best season sailing out of Barbados. So you can see these beautiful ports of call in the Caribbean. They're not your typical um, you know, ports of call that the other large ships are going to. So because our ships are so small, we can get into these really cool islands that are just spectacular. And we are the only ship there. So that is all of the difference. I, I guarantee you this will be an experience like no other. So if you are planning your next winter getaway, as we look out the window to the piles of white around, uh, think about this as maybe a possible getaway for you because these itineraries, I just think they're magnificent and you can fly nonstop from Toronto right into Barbados. So it's quick, it's easy. Uh, it's just a really nice option and you know maybe a, a good alternative to Florida for you. So, Keep these in mind, and I know you've been selling these, Sheila, uh, at your agency, so hopefully you've had some good feedback and uh, a lot of people have really been enjoying the Caribbean this winter. We also have some Panama Canal itineraries that are also very, very interesting because of the open jaw component. You're sailing from Miami and ending up in Panama City. So um, again, some different itineraries for you to choose from. And to help you maybe make your decision making a little bit easier, we have some early bonus savings for you. So anybody booking and paying in full by March the 1st, so we've just got a, a little short window here, but if you uh, want to save 10%, which on a seaborne sailing, it can be quite substantial. So this could be a really great benefit for you. And you can take that money and spend it on your cruise, but uh, you get a nice 10% early booking bonus. We also have what's called our Book with Confidence program. So we put this in place actually at the beginning of our return to sailing because we knew that things were still pretty tenuous and it'll, maybe some people weren't quite confident in their ability to return to sailing. So for example, if you booked a Europe itinerary, um, you know, in, in this summer in August, you can actually cancel up to 30 days prior to sailing and get 100% future cruise credit of any money paid to Seaborn. So that means you're not going to be out money. Uh, you can just delay your trip for another year if that makes you feel more comfortable, depending on what's happening in the world. Um, you know, it just makes people feel a little bit more comfortable that their funds aren't at risk. We also have what's called a COVID-19 protection program. So this is, um, you know, really a, a refund of your taxes and port fees. So if you, uh, um, you know, get that future cruise credit, you can just move it to the next year and, and sail with us. And if you have to cancel completely, you will get reimbursement of any expenses while you are cruising with us. So if, please, you know, this wouldn't be a problem, but if you do get COVID while you are sailing, you will get your money fully reimbursed to you. So I just want to thank you for joining us tonight. Um, you know, Sheila is an incredibly valuable tool for you. And in this really noisy world right now, uh, you really need somebody to help you navigate and help you, uh, you know, plan your traveling experience. You are in exceptionally good hands with Lisa, with Sheila, Sheila. I said Lisa, pardon me. Um, so she, she has 
taken the time to understand these products and also understand the destinations that she's going to be booking you into. So I've just enjoyed always working with, with Sheila and her professionalism. So um, they also offer an additional $150 shipboard credit for you when you are booking with Seaborn and with Sheila. So she can talk to you about that. We also have a, um, what's called our promotion right now called the Sweet Life Event. So typically during this time of the year, this is our heavy booking season. So we like to, um, you know, give you some uh, special additional offers. So right now we are doing a two category suite upgrade at a 50% reduced deposit. So you don't have to put down as much money and you get a better deal. Plus the value of Shiva's expertise and an extra $150 in your pocket. So this is extraordinary value. And um, this says right now booking by March the 1st. I have it by um, pretty good knowledge that this probably will be extended for another few weeks. So uh, keep your eye out for that if you're not ready to book right yet. But I do want to thank you for joining us tonight. And um, this was me on my very last cruise that I did before the world paused us. I actually was in the Caribbean uh, on a seaborne cruise. That was my suite. And that is a uh, the lowest uh, introductory suite that we offer. And I love showing this because you can see how absolutely stunning these suites are. Um, they're just so much space. And that was me on uh, the private island on our champagne and caviar day. So uh, there I was sitting on the ground holding my glass of champagne and ready for it to be filled again. <laughs> so it's just a really, really fun day. And I cannot wait for you to come on board and experience all of this for yourself. And if you have any questions, we can open it up. And uh, Sheila, is there anything you want to add? Thank you. Um, yeah, we'll open it up. And, and if people want to come on and uh, show their cameras or show their faces, you can certainly do that. If not, if you want to type the question in the chat, that's totally fine, too. I just want to mention a, a conversation I had with a client earlier this week. She started the pandemic just turning 70. And her goal was to travel as much and as far as she could over the next 10 years from 70 to 80, thinking that she had 10 good years before any health issues. So wow. um, she's, she said to me, I've lost three years of travel. So now the items on her bucket list have been rejigged and the most important ones are at the top. So it, that's why uh, it kind of goes to what you were saying, Lori, about the... Uh, the uh, uh, big trips have taken priority for people because it's yes. take the big trip first while you can. And, um, and it's such a good point. So thank you for bringing that up, Sheila, because it's it's crucial. And a lot of people, you know, you, you just haven't had that opportunity to explore. So it's so true. And, and with wellness, you know, and the big buzzwords in, in travel right now are certainly sustainability. Um, but also yes. regenerative travel, you know, rebuilding the travel and tourism industry. But I like to fo focus on the client too. It's all about your regenerative travel and rebuilding your health and wellness because we've all had two years at home and uh, we've all uh, taken a bit of a beating there in terms of mental health and, and uh, everything else. So, you so know, true. travel is a great form of therapy. It Can't is. And you start know, doing again. Go ahead. I think part of the whole experience is the planning and having something to look forward to. I truly think that makes a difference on your psyche and, and your everyday approach to life. When you know, you know, I'm going away in November, I've got this fabulous cruise. You can, you know, think about your destinations and do your research about what you're going to do when you get there. But I really think that a whole anticipation and the planning is just part of the whole excitement of, of traveling. Um, Lori, we had a question about solo cabins uh, yes. and whether there are any. I know you have a solo supplement, but are there any ships with solo cabins? We don't um, have specific state or suites designed for solo. So they're all the same basically, but what we do is we have changed the pricing. So we have just introduced, actually, that's a great question, something called solo select. So on specific itineraries, typically you would be paying 175% of the cruise fare as a solo guest. With 
that solo select, they're only charging, I believe it's 25% additional. So it is a substantially reduced supplement, but it's, you're going to be staying in that same suite right in that picture. So it's, you know, the suites are exactly the same. Awesome. Could, could we get you to stop sharing, Lori, if people want to come on with their, their uh, cameras and interact? Yes, sure, I can do that. Hang on one sec. And as you're doing that, we've had the question about whether there are medical facilities on board. We absolutely have medical facilities. So we have, um, is that stop sharing yet? Sorry, hang on. There we go. Thank you. Um, we have um, enhanced our medical facilities. So we used to have um, what was called an infirmary where we had doctor and nurses on board. Now we have allocated suites where we have isolation suites. If we need to isolate guests, we can do that on right on board. So we're not offloading them on an island where they have to get home on their own. They stay with the ship. They're quarantined. Honest to goodness, we bring them champagne. We bring them caviar. <laughs> Sounds like heaven to me right now, but um, you know, it's it's a, a very very different experience on board. And we have also brought people on board that are experienced with COVID. They're educated about it, on the treatment of it, and how to manage it better. Our testing programming on board is 100% different than it used to be. So we never used to test for COVID. That was not even a thing. So now we have the ability to do that, to perform full PCR testing for anybody on board. Wow. Okay, that's great. And the removal yeah. of masks, that's big news. For, but as you say, everybody's already double vaxxed. Um, yes. And they, they have, have to, to attest to that, correct? They do. Yeah. So, it's, you know, I, I think um, we have tried to lessen the impact, the onboard experience by all of the restrictions. So we've tried to make that, you know, as, as not a part of the whole cruise experience. So I think with the loosening of the, the mask requirement will just bring us that closer to um, an amazing vacation. So pretty much like it used to be. Awesome. Anybody have any questions for Lori while we still have her? Just so you know, Sheila knows how to get me anytime. <laughs> And so if you're laying in bed tonight and think of some questions, just send her a note. She always can reach me. For sure. For sure. Well, just uh, wait a second to make sure. It, let me check the chat. Oh, people say thank you for the solo travel. I do have a lot of solo travelers, so that's uh, important. Well, yeah, and th that's fantastic. And can I tell you something? Um, I've traveled by myself on Seaborn uh, twice. Um, it was fantastic. What happens when you go to the main dining room? They will ask you, do you want to sit with some of the staff, with some of the officers? They will always make sure that you were looked after. You never have to dine alone unless that's something that you wanted to do. But they know if you are traveling solo, you are so well looked after. You never ever feel like you are by yourself. You really don't, they, they really keep an eye on you. Well, that's awesome. And I can say that from experience too, because I yeah. hosted a virtuoso group on Seaborn previously. And uh, uh, yeah, we had a table and, and uh, people came and joined us if, if they wanted. Um, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, one thing I, let me just check. I got a couple of comments in the chat. I think it's mostly thanks and yes, okay. nice presentation. Um, the one thing that we're challenged by when we do these zoom presentations or any, um, presentation like this is that video is very difficult to stream. So that's one thing Lori and I were, uh, talking about is that, we have some great videos of, of Seaborn that will show you even more of what the cabins are like and the ships are like. We didn't want to include them in the presentation uh, live because it does freeze sometimes or hangs up. Uh, and uh, just know from experience, we want to avoid that if we can. So I will follow up. I'll send a copy of this recording and I'll grab a couple of links uh, from Lori about uh, the Seaborn experience as well to show you. Um, just want to remind you, uh, tuxedos are neither required or expected. 
Leave your tuxedos and your tiaras at home. <laughs> unless unless you go to uh, the Phillip Island there in Australia and you want to dress like the penguins you're going to see, <laughs> then you can wear a tuxedo if you choose. But thank you, you everyone for joining. Let me just double check uh, the chat again. Yeah, it's thank you. Thank you. Great presentation, Lori. Thank you. Lots of lovely trips. So thank you everyone for joining. Lori, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Great to see you, Sheila. And thanks everybody for tuning in tonight. I greatly appreciate it. Thank Stay you. Thank you. Have a thank great night. Have pleasure. a nice evening. You too. Good night now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome.